Well, good evening, everyone. Hope everyone is doing well tonight. And today is October the 1st, and it's our 10th. It's our 10th live stream. Yep. Can you represent that with digits? That means it's 20 weeks, give or take, which means it's almost half a year. Yeah. Digits. 10 weeks. So, uh, what have you been doing today? Working? Yeah, working. And you're walking now? I walk. Were Not you? well, but I walk. So, two weeks ago when we did our live stream, were you walking then? Just barely? Just barely. Had we already gone to Cherokee? I don't think so. Yeah, so we went, since last time, we went to Cherokee, North Carolina, and saw the elk. And Heather put on shoes for the first time in a long time and walked pretty good ways. And she has now driven to the grocery store just once though, right? Yeah. And you got your oil changed? Yeah. The guy said, wow, your battery's in great shape. Well, I've had it on a trickle charger for two months, so it better be. Uh, let's see. Today, I went to... Are you typing at people already? I'm telling Joy and Mike hello. Oh, okay. I should do the same. Hello. Uh, the other day, or I guess it might have been three weeks ago, when was it that we saw Pinky's video about all those flowers in the field. It's probably oh, been it's three been weeks. A, it's been a minute. Maybe even a month. Anyway, long time ago, uh, we saw a video by somebody who hangs around here sometimes, uh, Pinky's Adventures, and she went to Reflection Writing, Chattanooga Nature Center, and Arboretum. That's a mouthful. And, uh, hey, Adrian! And, uh, anyway, she, she there's this huge field of these wild uh, kind of sunflowerish things. And so I said, I got to go see that. And today was the first time I had a chance to do it. And there were probably like a million of these flowers blooming in that field. And today there was probably a hundred. <laughs> so uh, that's how my day went. But uh, still a pretty cool day. Wow, look at all the people. Cuban Rum is here. Joy is here. Richard Young is here. The Adrian Alford is here. Joy's here. It's really cool. Ian. Ian's here? Yeah. Oh, hey, Ian. How you doing? That's two people from Australia are in here right now. Okay, so uh, let's see here. We don't, uh, They announced, and I did a 17-minute video about this, so I'll just touch on it. Uh, Nikon announced that they were going to announce the replacement for the Z6 and the Z7, and they're going to call them the Z6 II and the Z7 II. And... Uh, there's rumors about what the specifications are going to be. And like I say, watch that video. It's, it's 17 minutes long. And if I get started, I won't be able to stop <laughs> because I did that whole thing. I just set the camera down, hit record, it had a sheet with the rumors on it and talked about them. And I had to edit it to get it down to 17 minutes. So anyway, I get kind of long winded about that. Let's talk about our, uh, if I can figure out where I'm at, let's talk about our channel of the week. And this is, uh, y'all are going to crack up about this one. This channel, a lot of, you know, we always, uh, or we don't always feature a channel, but when we do, it, it, one of the things it has to have is less than 10,000 subscribers. Well, this channel has six subscribers, and it's these weird people. They're really strange. They go and they get a jar, and then they go to a pond and they dig some dirt out of the pond these weirdos and they pour the dirt into the jar and then they scoop some of this nasty can't drink it pond water and they pour that into the jar and then they go to the aquarium store and they get a couple of plants and plant that in the jar and then they seal the jar and see what happens so you know any oxygen that is made has to be made by the plants or maybe some algae that might grow and any carbon dioxide has to be made by whatever organisms are in the jar and it has to be its own it's sealed so it's it's on its own so these people are really weird and uh but one thing about it is you know the 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 creatures that are inside this jar are tiny there's there's a couple of uh couple pods well there are a couple pods but i was actually oh, talking Daphnia? about the cute things the cute things Daphne? no they move yes there's a couple of snails in there that are about the size of a bb i mean they are tiny so to get the to get the photography done to get the video of these tiny things, whoever this weird guy is had to use a Tokina hundred millimeter macro lens, 
and an XT3 and three extension tubes stacked on top of each other to anyway so uh long story short the people is us <laughs> we started a new youtube channel and you know i figured it was just too weird to put on this mostly photography channel so we started a new channel and if you guys are interested at all take a look uh it's hard to find because if you just search for jar ecosystems a bunch of other weirdos that make things in jars come up but if you search for five liter jar you pretty much will will find us and look the heather made the artwork so anyway, that is the channel of the week. We're weirdos. Some weirdos with a jar full of really stinky pond water. It's got cool stuff in it, though. It does have some pretty neat stuff. Okay, let's see. Uh, David did not do his live stream. Uh, he, he had a family thing that he had to do, so he couldn't live stream. Oh, I, need, I didn't change the date. Crap. Oh, no. Uh, anyway, it's this coming Tuesday. It's not September 22nd. That's when it was going to be, and he had something come up, and then he didn't want to do it on the same week as mine. So his is going to be this coming Tuesday. When is that? This coming Tuesday is, I think, the 6th. Yeah, this It's 6th. going to be the 6th, not September 22nd. So this coming Tuesday, 5.30 p.m., the photo challenge is something in your front yard. I, thought, I said, you know, I don't have to change that at all because hmm. it's already got, nope, I do have to change it. What a big dummy. So that is that, and uh, let's see, is there anything else? Don't really have much to talk about other than um, other than this awesome uh, channel. With its one little video. <laughs> With its well, yeah, one video. It's it's been up for three days and has a massive 30, 31, 31 views, and at least ten of those are me watching it, going, look at that little bug in that jar. Okay, uh, it seems like there's something else we should do, but I guess there's not. Oh, I know what we should do. Uh, so two weeks from today, we're not going to be here. We are, it's, uh, we're going to uh, Dinner World. We're going to Walt Disney World again because we can't get enough of that place. And uh, it just happens that our trip falls on the exact Thursday night of, of the live stream. And... I don't want to mess up David's schedule, so we are going to do the live stream tonight, not do one next week. The week after that's Disney World, so we won't do one that week. The week after that's David's week, and the week after that we'll be back, which I think is the 20... Calendar Girl? I think it's the 26th. So, uh, 29th. Yeah. So our next live stream after tonight is the 29th, so we're going to do two, 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 two. We're going to do two photo challenges because you got four weeks to do them, uh, and that is the plan on that. And I'll let you know what that is when we get done looking at all these fantastic pictures that you folks sent in of yellow stuff. But uh, two. Now, we may, while we're at Disney World, at the regular time, two weeks from tonight, uh, if we're not too tied up with craziness, I may go live for just a minute and remind you uh, why we're not doing an, or, uh, this kind of live stream. And, you know, just live walking around the park with my cell phone for uh, two or three minutes and remind you about the uh, what the photo challenge is and then say bye. But it won't be like this. So let's see. How, do, we, do we get a lot of pictures? We got a lot. We got a lot. You know, I was thinking that we weren't going to get many. It went, you guys are funny. We'll go three, four days and we'll get one picture. And then, uh, you know, another three or four days, we'll get two or three more. And then all of a sudden it is a flood. So we appreciate it. We appreciate all the pictures coming in. And here they are, 53 this week and, or this time. I always say this week, but it's this time because yeah. it's every other week. And we'll just go ahead and get started. Yellow turned out to be a pretty good photo challenge. I have to credit David for giving me the idea when he did a red photo challenge. So, let's see here. Here we go. Photo number one. I yes. do that every time. There we go. Adrian Alford of Queensland, I believe is where he lives, Australia. That is, look at that field of, I don't even know what it is. I wonder if he... I wonder if there's a message with his. Now, if you folks uh, don't recall, Adrian was my first channel of the week. Uh, he does have, Ooh. oh, it's in Scotland. He does have a, uh, that is number one. 
He was the first channel of the week. He, his YouTube channel is absolutely, completely, and totally awesome. It's like a thousand times more pro than, than mine is. It's just great, and, and he's super on there, and uh, his photos are great. So let's read. Story number one, story behind the photograph. This is Canola in Edinburgh, Scotland. The shot was taken in Edinburgh, Scotland at the beginning of spring. I was driving along the highway traveling from Edinburgh to, Scot to the Scottish Highlands when this incredible canola field caught my eye. I would say that it would. Mm -hmm. I did a U-turn and headed back and had to climb a six-foot stone fence to get a decent view. A tree branch was in my way, so I held the branch out of the way with my left hand and with the camera in my right hand, tried to balance wow. on the fence. Taking handheld, I loved the way you could see the house through the opening of the trees. Me too. Yeah. Very cool. This is beautiful. Uh, through the opening of the trees, which your eye is led to. Very, very cool. I would never have guessed that that was a handheld photo. No. I would have guessed that that was uh, a lot more went into it than that. I wonder if it shows. I don't think. I don't, I don't think I don't, we have access. Yeah, to I don't it. think we have data on Adrian's, but it's really, really cool. Really cool. Look at the the old. Uh, did, did he call it a house? Yeah. Yeah, it's almost a castle. It's really. It looks like it's pretty good size. Look three separate uh you know that thing's old back when there was no other way to heat your house besides a fireplace, a fireplace yeah. very cool all right there are some sunflowers the story behind the photograph be on sunflower this shot was taken not too far from my house in australia i had this shot all pre-frame ready to take when a bee flew in and landed on the sunflower that was in focus great timing so i quickly fired the shot yeah I really but, like the out of focus flowers. Yeah, yeah, that's too. really really cool. That's uh, you know, and those sunflowers look exactly like the ones that were in the sunflower field in Ottawa. It's not like it's mm -hmm. some different variety. I don't think they yeah. they seem exactly the same. I love the the blue of the sky mm -hmm. and the bee. Yeah. Very cool. Thanks, Adrian. We appreciate you participating very very much. Keeping room. Cuban rum of Miami. <coughs> Excuse me. Where'd my thing go? I need to have a way to, to alphabetize this to make things easier. Okay, photo one. Taken with the Z7 and the 200-500 f5.6 at 1 one sixtieth. 200 millimeters f8 iso 1000 handheld and i guess that's a that's a oh, lotus, lotus flower yeah uh but ours around here don't have that pink color ours are more yellowish whitish uh, yeah uh, greenish depending on yeah i love the way the the center of the lotus flower looks like a shower head yeah it's really really beautiful I, I like the photo the way that this petal is leaning over so that the the shower head <laughs> peaks around that yeah, the water drops are cool too, yeah. and uh, I I think this is intentional vignette, and it's really nicely done. Yeah. Uh, you know, because we don't need to see that leaf in the background nearly as bright as this, and that draws your attention to the middle. Yeah. Great job. Very cool. Yeah, very. Are people saying stuff that I'm missing? Yeah, they're saying that it's really pretty, and that is yellow. Yeah, that was about Adrian's about first that field. one. That yeah. field was incredible. Hello, everybody. Sorry, I, uh, Heather's in charge of typing. I have to run all this stuff. Heather has to Google, too. you got a lot of stuff to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, back to work. And that's a water lily, isn't it? I yeah, guess. Uh, number two, taken with the Z6 and the Z24-70 F2.8S which is awesome at 1 200 70 millimeters f5.6 iso 400 so that's a water lily so he's got both the yeah. lotus and the water lily yeah that is beautiful i love this i like you know that's something i was working on today when i was taking pictures of those yellow flowers in the field at reflection riding is trying to get the background dark that's exactly what i was going to say i liked and i let the sun shine on the flowers i was shooting and i stood in a place where i shadowed the background oh cool today <coughs> excuse me yeah this is gorgeous really nice i love blacking out that background yeah great job cuban rum and i i remember this one from when we were going yeah, look at how much detail is... there is in this grasshopper 
this is taken with the Z6, the Z2470 f2.8 s at 1 one hundredth 69 millimeters f5 look at the detail i'm just going to make that bigger i want to capture a grasshopper now there was a bunch today but they they were they didn't have the the beautiful the cool. colors yeah. with this one i mean they were cool looking but they didn't have the beautiful colors of this one and i was manually focusing so mm -hmm. i didn't fool with it but wow that is really that huge. is really awesome i don't think i've ever seen a grasshopper with colors quite like that yeah I mean, it looks great like this, but I, I even like it better zoomed. It's super cool. And you see all of those little details in it. Really cool. Are people saying neat stuff? Oh, Mike Mitchum says wow. Joy says wow. Yeah, that was about the water lily. Oh, there's a lot of wows. Yeah, lots of wows. You're wow on this Cuban rum. Awesome. Okay. Can you tell from here who's next? Um, Dana. Oh, Garrett. okay. Good job. Oh, this... This photo right here that I'm about to show you, if I can figure out what I'm doing, is what the next 45 days need to be about. But I can't. There it is. Oh, oh crap. I was all looking for a story, and there's not one. But look at that. Yes, you know, I love the, the early autumnness of this because most of the leaves in this haven't turned but some have turned all the way to red and there's plenty of yellow and orange in there and i love the leading lines of the highway as it as it goes back and turns i love that the that the um pavement's almost wet the so pavement dark. yeah and the yellow lines have been freshly painted so mm -hmm. they they've got a lot of color to them just really really cool mm -hmm. really cool this was um, what are you seeing i'm saying that you know where we took that curvy shot of mm -hmm. the road last year we yeah. need to plan it to, w to yeah. where it's yes colorful. we really do and we didn't go uh that fall so yeah so we definitely need to go spend more than a year we're mm -hmm. talking about a, a photograph that i made of a curvy a banked curvy road um in georgia that uh heather has reminded me that i need to do it again in the fall mm -hmm. 24 millimeters with a 16 to 80 i don't i can't tell uh, what camera we're using here, but I'm going to, I don't know, 2.8 to F4. Is that the, uh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what lens that is, but the photo oh, is beautiful. Oh. All right. This is George, George Nagata. Nagata. We are serious about the yellow mm -hmm. in the George Nagata zone. Let's see if I can find him. All right, hello, Phil and Heather. A multitude of yellow in this shot. I am outside Chicago Transit train station at Diversary Brown Line Station. To brighten up the station, the city is displaying a replica of an old train ticket window. It was painted yellow along with the rail sport beams. It just so happened a yellow cab drove by as I was taking pictures. And that's and awesome. he got the he got the motion blur in the cab too, so that's super cool. Photo taken September 3rd, 2020 with the Nikon Z50. Awesome little camera. And the 18 to 55 AFP kit lens, which I think that's the kit lens for like a D3100 or something. Mm -hmm. Using the F to Z adapter. Shot at 18 millimeters, F8, 400 ISO, and 125th. So that's how we got, that's the, how we got the blur. That's how we got the blur of the taxi. A second that accounts for the cab being blurred. Very cool. Also, is that a bike rack? Because that's an awesome like. I don't. Yeah, it's not a bike, but maybe it's a place to tie your bike. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's cool. A lot of yellow. That is what this I was is looking really cool. for. Yellow's good. Yeah. It's a good color. I like yellow. And it was all yellow. Okay, now let's get back to this. Whoops. I'm next. Are you next? I'm next. What, what, where'd you make this one at, Heather? I made this one outside the bathroom at the, <laughs> the O'Connell Lufty Visitor Center in Cherokee, North Carolina, right as you enter the Smoky Mountains National Park on the North Carolina side. So this was taken dur during our trip when we went at, I mean, we got to just about a quarter mile from that place at sunrise and it's a three hour drive so we got up stupid early we left we got up at like <coughs> three o'clock and we left the house by i think three forty-five. but we got to see the elk and yeah and i was shooting with the 500 f4 and no teleconverter um on a tripod and was taking pictures of these elk at like one thirtieth of a second 
And so Heather was using the 18 to um, 400 Tamron, mm -hmm. which is nowhere near as fast as that lens. It's 3.5 to 6.3. So her first picture was of these Black Eyed Susans at the visitor center. I thought she did a great job, really pretty. What did you shoot it at? At 400. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'm telling you. They should, if they ever update that lens and make a new version, they should send you one for free because you are selling that <laughs> lens. I wonder, I wonder how many people have bought that lens based on your use of the, I don't one, know. of the one that you bought used. Okay. Very good. I like your watermark, too. Thanks, babe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got my pointer on your bokeh. I have, I have dis and trademarked your bokehification. Thanks. You ready for the next one? Yeah. All right, so this was later that day. This is on the other side of the Okefalaka Fluka Fluka Fluka. Okana Lefty River. That's what I said, of the Okana Lefty River. This is a big bull elk. Uh, I don't think this was that's the... Not the... That's not the patriarch. Well, I mean, but he the, he had a bigger herd with him than the other one. No, this isn't, this isn't him. That other one had horn antlers that went all the way back oh so you're saying that, this is a younger that, one ah okay okay i was thinking that this shot was of the big bad mm -hmm. daddy no and see his horns or not horn antlers, antlers. aren't yeah, broken the, yeah the big bad daddy of this herd there was heather counted 40 in the field we were near yeah uh, the, but the biggest one had one of its points broken off of its antlers yeah I've, I've got a shot really similar to this when that video comes out, but I've got the legs in there, but mine doesn't have the yellow flowers in the background as prominent as Heather's. So, 200 millimeters. She was too close. I kept saying, Heather? I was not too close in the shot. I was on the other side of the road. Okay. You were with me. You were holding my hand. Oh, okay. Well, there was one point uh, where I was back about 30 feet behind you. Yeah. And I kept saying, Heather? That was when Mac Daddy was coming through. Heather? Heather. Yeah, and there was these two dudes shooting with like 70 to 200s, and they were 15 feet from the big bull. It was like, what is going these to happen to these guys? These people want to die. Yeah, but they didn't, so I guess they got lucky. But anyway, beautiful shot, Heather. Beautiful animal. And now we mm. have Joe. Look at this. I'm not sure what kind of warbler that is. Maybe it's a yellow warbler. This is Joe with an S. And that's number one. Uh, uh, hi, Phil and Heather. Almost missed this contest. My mind erased a week someplace. That happens to me all the time. If you remember the 60s, you weren't there. Hmm. Nothing crazy this week, but a few bird shots that are yellow. Autumn is well on its way up here in Connecticut. First one is a male yellow warbler, and that is awesome. I've never photographed a yellow warbler, but I sure would like to sometime. That's a, that's a beautiful photo. I like every single thing about it. And uh, I, you know, I guess I would say I'm not thrilled with this shadow, but it doesn't hurt it. It doesn't hurt it at all. Well, and he probably could, he couldn't avoid that shadow. No, of course not. Absolutely not. But I love the out of focus background. The only thing that's in focus is really the part of the the twig that the bird is standing on and yeah. the bird. Just another fantastic photo made with the 200 500 f 5.6. Get one, Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> or get a Z series camera and get the new 200 to 600 if it ever comes out all right uh let's see his second photo is a pine warbler now i've Look gotten a picture that. of a pine warbler not doing this amazing pose but i've gotten a pine warbler picture right on the back porch mm. um not frequently but it's happened another 200 to 500 shot it's really cool Pine warblers are awesome. Mm -hmm. I think the next one's going to be super cute. It's mm -hmm. going to be almost like Baby oh, Yoda cute. He's so cute. So those, I guess those are Canada geese goslings yeah, right there probably. Yeah. And that's another 200 to 500 photo. F8, ISO 641, 1000th. Super beautiful. Mm -hmm. They're so cute. Yeah. You know they're they're not the prettiest birds in the world when they get bigger, but when they're and, babies. and around here they're kind of a nuisance. They're, you know you know you might see, a hundred and fifty of them in a field, and uh, you can't walk around in there because there will be their turds are as big as a dog. Uh, <laughs> I mean seriously, but man the goslings are cute. 
Super cute. All right, number four. Uh oh, look at that. Oh yeah. Some more autumn. You know, Adrian down in Australia, he's just coming into spring right now, and we are just about to go into autumn. This was with the Nikon Z 24-70 f4. That's the kit lens on the Z6 and the Z7. Very cool. Makes me wonder what the kit lens is going to be on the Z6 and Z7. Doop. Don't mm -hmm. know. That's beautiful. Yeah. I love the dappled sunlight yeah, on the yeah. ground. Yeah, and he's called it that too. Oh, I don't we know. did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dappled golden autumn. Beautiful. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Nice job, Joe. All right, this is the other Joe, Joe Wilk. And he sent two versions of, I think that's a cloudless sulfur. Yeah, it looks like one. Uh, Joy can correct me if I'm wrong. He sent two versions of it. I believe the first one is not cropped and the second one is cropped. So let's look and see. Yeah, that one's cropped for composition. I'm almost sure that's a cloudless sulfur. Yeah. Is that a hibiscus? I don't. You think it's something else? I don't know. I think it's a lobiscus? I mean, it's not a lobiscus. <laughs> Uh-oh. Can y'all see? Heather is, is uh, you guys ever Google what things are with your phone? You pull up the Google app and you point the camera at it. And, uh. It keeps wanting to get the cloudless sulfur. Oh, it is a hibiscus. <laughs> don't need Google when you got Phil, I've never, yo. I've never seen a white hibiscus. Yeah, me neither. But it, it, it just, you know, the shape of it reminds yeah. me of hibiscus. Great job, Joe. You made us Google. Hmm. That's awesome. All right. And Joy has cloudless sulfurs as well. Uh, why can I not find Joy? There she is. She says, you know fall is here when you see the cloudless sulfur in your flowers. She made this at 1-200th uh, F8 ISO 250 at 240 millimeters with this, one lens to rule them all. I don't know if it's the same settings, but that is a different picture. Oh, crap. I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer. Oh, maybe it is. Uh, this one has no settings. The next one has those settings I was just <laughs> reading. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I that's mean, beautiful. I like I like the background. I like the cloudless sulfur. I like the hair on this, yep. on this flower. That's what I was going to point it's out, It's beautiful. Too. It's beautiful. Joy's got a great watermark, too. Are you envying people's watermarks tonight? I got a good one. My sweetie made it for me. Mm -hmm. All right. Great job, Joy. Thanks for sending that in. Oh, thanks to everyone who <laughs> sent something in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We really appreciate the participation. I, okay, I so, love the color. Yeah. I guess that's a zinnia. Zinnia. Yeah, and another cloudless sulfur. Now, cloudless sulfurs, Google, Googleize that. They... See how far they travel. Oh, cloudless sulfur. Uh, they, I think they go all the way to South America. Yeah, but like migration. They go a long way. Beautiful photograph, Joy. Okay, so while Heather is looking up the cloudless sulfur migration, the next few shots are by Matt Lyon. And he made all of these with a uh, Panasonic Micro Four Thirds censored camera and the Helios 44-2, which uh, is a lens that I'm starting to try to figure out how to use. I like the, the this, this figurine is pointing a gun at, oh. at you. Oh, it doesn't go to South America. Um, it says that it's a permanent resident from Argentina north to southern Texas and the deep south. Regular visitor and occasional colonist in most of the eastern U.S. and southwestern U.S. Huh. I thought they migrated like uh, like a uh, um, like a ruby-throated hummingbird all the way to mm -hmm. South America. I was wrong. Sorry. So there's a figurine, and the the uh, firearm that it's pointing at us is completely out of focus with that 58 millimeter f/2 Helios lens. Look at that. Look at all the... <laughs> Is that a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? I think it might be, but look at the crazy bokeh, and I'm not sure. You think this is... I think that might be superimposed. Superimposed? Yeah. Okay. Still it's cool. cool. Yeah, it's cool. Really cool. And uh, now this is something... So look at this lens flare. This is something that I'm wanting to try to do with, with my Russian Helios 
58 millimeter f2 lens and uh i think i'm going to take uh, my daughter and her boyfriend down to highway 58 with the entire lake in the background and the sun setting one night and try to do the get them looking at each other silhouetted but with the sunset in the background and this crazy lens flare lens flare that they made no attempt whatsoever to control so that's pretty cool is that a b yeah <clears throat> cool nice job matt and there is a mario kart player is that who is is that bowser that's not bowser who? bowser's a turtle oh who is it i don't know mario kart character dude yellow dude Stand by. We don't know who it is. I don't. I have no idea. Now you can see even on a micro four thirds, and he may have used a speed speed booster, so he got all of the lids. Oh, okay, Heather's going to. Uh, she's googleizing it. And it just says Mario Kart. Ah, I but you know. can see some circular bokeh or swirly bokeh in that one, and you can see a lot of swirly bokeh in this one. You know the thing about that lens, it's just not sharp, and you can see this is not, but it's artistically attractive. Um, so, so there you have it. And Matt is, uh, I mean, it, it's like his main lens. I, I can't imagine it being my main lens cause it's such a difficult lens to use, but, uh, he really, he really gets some interesting <laughs> stuff out of it. Artie said Bowser is a turtle. We know what Heather did in her younger days. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I played lots of Mario Kart. All right. This is Mike Mitchum and he's got a sunflower photo going on. And this is with the 55 to 200 lens. I love that lens. It's such a fantastic lens. Really enjoyed using it when we went to Disney World. It's a Fuji lens. Yeah, this is pretty. Beautiful, Mike. I, I, There's like a little spider. Oh, there. yeah, there is something on there. And we got enough resolution here to Let's see, see it. it. Let's see what 2400 by 1600. So he shrunk it some from the from the original size but it's still beautiful mm -hmm. still got plenty of detail yeah very cool mike all right now what kind of spider is know, this that you I gotta google that one i literally said this looked like bowser earlier <laughs> which is another character from mario games yeah we were talking about it this is a gastrantha hosilet Tea. That's Do they have a common name? The like the, what the hell is that spider? Haslet's spawny spider. That thing is ridiculous looking. Look at those pokey thingies. Where's the front of it? Oh, I guess the front's you think that's the front and this yeah, is the back? Maybe. I don't know, actually. That's amazing. Hello. Yes. Twenty four to two forty. This must be Yeah, that's the back of it. Yeah, this must be a cannon lens of some sort, I guess. It's awesome. I've never seen one of those. That's amazing. It's really cool. You guys ever seen one of those? If you've ever seen one, say, hey, I've seen one of those. Joe says it's the stay away from me, Spider. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Bike said he wasn't about to turn him around. <laughs> <laughs> it's an EOSR. Oh, cool. Thanks, Mike. Did I make that big? Yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah, this is perfect time for Halloween. Yeah. That's pretty scary. Like the, I like the bookification back yeah. here, too. A lot of beautifulness going on in there, along with that terrifyingness. <laughs> it's awesome. It's like a turtle. Look how... It, like, that's why I called it Bowser. Ah, that makes sense. I've never seen anything like that. It looks like a submarine. I don't know. It's cool. Oh, he, he called it... Bowser. Oh, yeah. Okay, I got, I got you. All right, and now we have a butterfly. And do you, I don't think that's a monarch. See if you can go, mm -hmm. Googleize that and see what it is on that zinnia. Yeah, probably a tiger's. And this is with this 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 Fuji lens has a lot of range. Eighteen to one thirty-five, three point five to five point six. I want that eastern tiger swallowtail. Oh, okay. I, th I th it looks oranger than I would think of eastern tiger swallowtail would be. Yeah, that's what it says. It's beautiful. So that is at 88.2 and 5.6, and it still has a, 
a really beautiful yeah. quality to the out of focus areas and it looks like it's pretty doggone sharp on the eye too mm -hmm. very nice Mike yeah very pretty all right, now this is a weatherman. I think he said this is at his house. Yeah, he, he did. That's pretty cool. We ain't got there in any weather vanes around here. That's a spider. Ah, in our garden. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, just says in our garden, so... It's cool though, mm -hmm. and it's yellow. Yeah, like the also, blurred the way. Yeah. It's... Mm -hmm. So what's the shutter speed? One ninth. Mm -hmm. One ninth of a second. F eleven ISO one hundred. I, I, I guess he was tripoded up for that, but it could have been yeah. handheld. That that lens has optical image stabilization, and he has an XD four, so it it has IBIS as well. Mm. Very cool. This Mike Carnes. It's Badlands. Oh, okay. Let me see if I can find him on here. I want to go there. I, th is, I think this might be Mike Carnes' first time sending one in. So thank you, Mike. Uh, we appreciate it. I took this image in the Badlands National Park, just like Heather said, mm -hmm. in August of 2020, shot with the Z6 and the Tamron 24-70 f2.8 G2. It's pretty cool. I'm, I don't, you know, I've been to Phoenix, but, you know, I didn't, I was only there for like a business trip and I didn't have any time to, exp to look around. Badlands is in South Dakota. Yeah, but I'm just saying I've never oh. been to anything that's like that. Oh. The closest I've been to something that's like that is Phoenix. I went to, I mean, I spent days in the Australian Outback, so. Did you put some shrimp on the Barbie? No. Well, you should have. I did hike a lot, though. I hiked a place that looks similar to the lower part of this picture, not the the upper where it's very harsh. Are you kidding me? I'd be. I wouldn't want you to walk right there. Sorry. It's okay. Hmm. Cool picture. Thanks, Mike. Oops. Am I on the correct monitor? Oh, this is me. Uh, this is. I don't know what. Can you Google that? Mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of flower this is, but this is the kind that there were at Chattanooga Arboretum and Nature Center, a.k.a. Reflection Riding. There were millions of them, and when I went, there were just a few left. And this, I made this today with the Z6. Western tick seed, bearded bear ticks. That's a, that's a lot of words. Anyway, this, uh, this is with the Z6 and the Tokina macro lens not the Nikon uh, autofocus macro lens but the Tokina 100 millimeter f 2.8 no extension tubes or anything and I stood in a spot where I shaded the background with my shadow so anyway that's that oh no you what? done going off the rails I've lost my mind oh, oh there we go 1250 f 16 ISO 100 and this, what did we decide this thing was? It's we, um, um, bub ass assault? Ambush. It's an ambush bug. An ambush bug. We, uh, uh, when I was walking back, I, I was actually just taking pictures of these tiny, tiny, tiny purple flowers. And I'm like, why does this one purple flower, because there was a few little bunches <laughs> like this, why does this one pur purple flower have a yellow bloom on it? And it's that is the camouflage of this bug. That is the camouflage of this bug. And I, I bet I worked 20 minutes trying because this thing is tiny, 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 uh, trying to get good focus on that bug. I ended up shooting it at f29, uh, tripoded up 160th of a second, and that made me need 5600 ISO. Um, but anyway, that is. The ambush bug and I'm not sure but I think it might have a little bug on it oh or is that just part of its I don't know I, I don't either but anyway both of those pictures were made today and the video will come out in late October <laughs> <laughs> and that's at 
Chattanooga Nature Center Reflection Writing and Arboretum. I think I got that out of order. Ooh. Randy Myers. Those, uh, you know, I've always wanted to photograph. I know, uh, and we were going to go to that one that was at the <coughs> River Park, but they said it was so bad. What was bad about it? Oh, because nothing happened. Yeah. Uh, okay, so he doesn't have any descriptions on his. We will figure it out on our own. Olympus. An Olympus 12 to 40. Oh, How about cool. that? That's cool. I wonder if that's a micro four thirds camera. The, the file seems to be um, very nice indeed. Mm. And uh, I look love at those. the glow. Mm hmm. And I, you know, do they, once you turn the fire off, does the balloon quit glowing or do they have other lights in there? Do you know how it works? I don't think it glows anymore. Oh. I wonder, I bet they have some other light in there. Maybe not. I don't know. It's cool though. It's really beautiful. Mm. And this is... This is very pretty. Yeah, that is pretty. 215 millimeter on an Olympus 75 to 300. F7.1. Yeah, he said there's no other light. Uh, I didn't think there was. So that was cool that you caught both of the balloons with the fire going. Yeah. I bet that took some timing. Because I, I don't think they just run that fire wide open eternally. You... Yeah. This is beautiful. I love the color of I it. I like the detail in the petals. And I like the shininess on the wings. The wings, yeah. Yeah, that's really pretty. Did Randy, when I was talking about, is that camera micro four thirds, did he say? Uh, he hasn't said yet. Very pretty. Look at this. This is a uh, shoot and zoom, I believe. Mm. Where you, well, it's 180th. I would have thought that it would have been slower. But I think what he's done is made the shot and turned the zoom. Oh. But uh, I would think you would need longer than that. He, he said, yeah. It is micro four thirds. Gotcha. That's cool. It's really neat looking. I just would have thought to make that shot you would need longer than 1 80th of a second. Mm. I like it though. Very cool. Okay, cafe. It's awesome. Open all day. That looks cool. Wait time? Short. What's that say? Oh, short minutes. So it'll have the time here. So you can see from the outside. Ah. That's cool. I wonder where that is. No, it looks awesome though. Yeah, I like everything. Look at the, the I like those windows. The old fifties diner. Mm -hmm. Very cool, and also yellow. Thanks, Randy. Ah, he 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 did that in Photoshop. Oh, and this cool. is in Atlanta. How about oh, that? We could go there. We could go to that. We could go there tomorrow if we laid out of work. We yeah, won't. I we, have to work tomorrow. We won't. We won't go. We could go there like on Saturday or Sunday. <laughs> and we have oh, the waffle It's hizzy. the Waffle Hizzy. Dine in. We are open. Beautiful, waffle, beautiful uh, sunset. I guess that's a sunset. Might be a sunrise with the fogged up windows. Yeah. It's probably a sunrise. Probably so. This is a great shot. I love mm -hmm. it. Yep. We uh, are big fans of Waffle House. It's the only restaurant I eat at that doesn't have beer. <laughs> you know, besides like McDonald's or something. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. This looks like an older one. It does. You know, the, the one near us is pretty new. Yeah. And they the one down at Exit 5, Tennessee I-75 Exit 5, it was perfectly fine. They flattened that building, completely leveled it, and built one back in its footprint. Weird. Mm. Very cool. Waffle mm. House. Well. Thanks, Randy. Ray Soldano has, looks like he's done some desaturation. And look at here, he's using his new 85 F1.8 at 
probably on his D850 would be my guess. He's shrunk the file down, so it's hard to say. That's cool, though. I like mm -hmm. the... Uh, it looks like, you know, there's still some color to it. It's not like it's he, not completely he hasn't saturated. pulled everything out. Good work, Ray. That, uh, that is very nice. It surprises me if it shot at 1.8, how... How it's not completely... I mean, that's really melted, but... Th I mean, I guess it's not that far behind it. Yeah. And, you know, I thought maybe he pulled out all the colors just individually except for yellow, but that, you know, that's kind of reddish orange there. So mm -hmm. he must have done some sort of painting and removed it that way. Really cool. Thanks, Ray. Richard Young, let's find his email. He always has some interesting things to say to go along with his. Uh oh, we made Richard work. He says, I was really struggling to find some images on the subject of yellow, but I have found some, two of which had been converted to black and white, which I have brought back into color for tonight only. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is uh, number one. How Help me say that. All Gayer? All Gayer Grocery Store Angels, originally black and white. This is a small store near where I live in Germany, and they have a window display that changes with the season. Here is their Christmas display. It looks a bit spooky late at night, which yeah. is when I took this picture. Use the D7100 four tenths of a second f4.5, 200 ISO at 20 millimeters. Yeah, that is kind of spooky looking. Yeah. It's pretty though. I imagine the black and white is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's I, awesome. I like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Number two, Kiel on the Baltic Sea in northern Germany is a beautiful place. And it's home to the Kiel Canal, which links the Baltic Sea to the North Sea and then Northwestern Europe, Great Britain, and the Atlantic Ocean. Here, one of the many tugboats around the here, one of the many tugboats around the entrance to the canal, D seventy one hundred one five hundred F eight ISO one sixty and ten millimeters. That's really cool. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Very nice. I like the German on this side. Yeah. There's probably some other places. Yeah, here's some more. Oh, yeah. Probably some there, too. It's just hard to see it. Very cool. All right. Let's see what number three is. Very cool. That looks like America. Die Geibe Brücke. You, are you going to pronounce that for me? Die Geibe Brücke. <laughs> the Yellow Bridge, originally in black and white. Known as Die Geibe Brücke in Mannheim, oh, Germany, no. this, this image was part of a high contrast black and white set of urban and industrial images. Actually, I quite, quite like it in color. Nikon D850, 1160th F8, ISO 64 with the 14 to 24 mm -hmm. at 14. Yeah, I like it too. I love the, the line of these posts, how he's caught it. You trying to figure out how to pronounce that? Yeah. Sorry. It's all Oops. sorts of cool lines. And look at the... Gabe. Gabe. Oh, you got me talking. <laughs> cool. I like the weight of these clouds. They look like they're just about to bust open. But yeah. they haven't yet. Ooh. Is that the 16 tree? One, two, three. He four. calls it the 10 trees. Ah, the 10 trees. More trees on the horizon. And why not? It's fantastic. I later desaturated the color of the crop, which I think improves the image, but here is the more saturated version. Nikon D7100, 1 20th, F8, ISO 100, and 22 millimeters. I like it. Uh, yeah. You know, it reminds me of, of some of the pictures he sent last week. 
and mm -hmm. it's just cool. Yeah. We got to find a place like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're not organized enough to plant trees that perfectly here. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Thanks, Richard. Ooh. All right. This is Rick McCauley. And I think this may... I, I, I think could, Rick said it was his first submission. I think this is Rick's first time. So Come back up. Oh, thank you. Right there. Under TV. Oh. Hey there, guys. I'm sending in three my first time. First time caller. Whoop, whoop. Uh, sending in is sending in. So if I did something wrong, let me know. Absolutely perfect. Um, I'm thinking right off. I'm supposed to go out and get the shots after we hear what the challenge is. Didn't have time this time because I watched the video the other day. But here's three that I got earlier in the year. Mm -hmm. If one of you, blah blah blah. Look at all the pollen yeah, on that. Yeah, that's bee. awesome. That is some yellow. Number one is the bumblebee on a passion flower. Very mm -hmm. cool. I photographed a passion flower for the first time earlier this year with the Hanamex lens with pollen on it. I got it with the Canon 80D and the 100 to 400. Very cool. Very cool. Really sharp, too. A lot of detail there. Look at those little pieces of pollen. Mm, there's so many of that them. That is fantastic. I love it. Very cool. All right. No, oh, look at wow. that. Uh, number two is a Daisy Macro I got with the Canon 6D Mark II and a Sigma 105 lens. Sprayed with water to make it wet and laid it on black board under glass to get the reflection. Ah, okay, awesome. I get it now. I thought it was sitting in, in like actual water, but it's on blackboard. Uh, the black glass on top of blackboard. Mm-hmm. Really cool. Very creative. My first time for macro, just got my lens and set it up. Wow. You're going places. Oh, and here is my favorite little birdie. That's a flower, honey. No, the next picture. <laughs> okay, I'll shut up. All right. Look at it. Prairie Warbler. Heather's made photos of these, and I was so uh, pleased. And that was a high five day. Uh, number three is a Prairie Warbler I got with a Canon 80D and a Canon 100-400 in Roan County, Tennessee. Anyhow, hope you are doing well. Let me know if you did something wrong. You did not. Everything is fantastic. And thank you very much for sending these in. These are awesome. We love Prairie Warblers. Mm -hmm. uh, they make the best sounds. Oh, can you pull up a Prairie oh, Warbler yeah. sound? Yeah, I can find that. Yeah, Heather's going to play the Prairie Warbler sound. It's one of the coolest sounding little birds. This is how you pull them in, too. Yeah. That's a Prairie Falcon. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at Mexican birds because... That's where the booby, the booby. Oh, I gotcha. Um, here we go. All right, Prairie Warbler. Hmm. It sounds cooler when you're in the field. Yeah. Okay, what is next? Thanks, Rick. Ooh, TV guy could cat. Heather loves a Corvette. I'm really fond of the 2006 the Hyundai. Hyundai Sonata <laughs> with the with the cool wheels on it. Very cool. I guess that's a C. I can't. Is that a C5? That's a C5, I guess. Very cool. Let's see if we can find. I don't know if TV wrote anything to us or not. D750 60 millimeter f2.8 D f8 one five hundredth and he gave us two versions to choose from I'm gonna say I like this version better mm. but he also sent us uh, the, the the white vignette. yeah the vignette version I think I prefer mm -hmm. this I like version this one. Better. yeah very cool love that Corvette mm -hmm. you know there's some cars that can get away with being yellow and a Corvette is certainly one of them mm -hmm. and a taxi is another all this right, is this cool. is Tim. I think he sent these in pretty early. <coughs> this image and the next couple. 
This image and the next are a couple of years old, but I thought worthy to submit for the yellow subject. This first image is a 1946 Taylorcraft BC-12D about to touch down on the RWY-35 at Headland, Alabama. Very cool old plane mm -hmm. landing. Very cool. And I think the next shot is the same plane taking off. about to take off. Yeah. Really cool. Definitely fit. I, I think I like this shot better than this one. What do you think, honey? Yeah, I think so. I like, but, yeah. But I like both, both of them. Both of them are great. I mean, I, I like this one because of the background. Oh, and you can see. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the dude but in the plane. But then, see, right here, the propeller spinning a little faster. Yeah. Because it's taking off. So you can see the blur in the propeller, which is cool. I wonder what this doodad does. I don't know. Very cool. All right, so, I th and then later on, Tim sent those two in on September 21st, but he also sent in another shot on, uh, why can I not see what date it is? Oh, ew. Anyway, he sent another shot in later, September, September 28th. 28th. So seven days later, a week later, he sent in uh, this one. Mm, that is tail. an eastern tiger swallowtail. Very beautiful. Dwarfing that flower it's on. Yeah. Look at that all. Really nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Those, they, I mean, those are big butterflies. They're mm -hmm. a lot bigger than, like a monarch is, is a pretty decent amount smaller than one of those. Mm-hmm. You can see the fuzzies on it. It's on yeah. belly. Yeah. It's cool. It reminds me of the, of the, um, Emperor, the, the emperor emperor moth yeah. with its little dots right here mm -hmm. very cool thanks tim okay this is vince this photo was taken as part of a photography group exercise with the once upon a time Thank with the you. theme once upon a time excuse me for this photo you might say that once upon a time it had Nice shiny yellow paint, but now it's rusty and crusty. This hydrant is in front of the caretaker's residence at Point Reyes. Reyes. Thank you, National Seashore Lighthouse. Taken with the 5100 and the 18 to 55 kit lens. Adrian has to go get breakfast. Tell him bye bye. Bye, Adrian. Thanks for hanging around. Appreciate it. Keep creating. Never stop creating. Did I say that right? think so that's what he says at the end of his videos anyway Very photo. Cool. yeah man that thing is really in need of a paint I job I would not consume water that came from it <laughs> yeah, I hope not but you'd probably let the water put your yeah the I'd fire let it out. put the fire out yeah that yeah. thing looks rough though for sure it's awesome it's funny looking too it's like where's the roundy toppy thingy yeah very cool all right I here's like here's Vince's next shot. You have to be low to get this. This second photo was just something that caught my eye. I was driving by. There was early morning light on this freshly painted yellow gate, so I stopped and took a few snaps. Taken with the D5100 and 18 to 55. That's awesome. Yeah, I love the light on it. Yeah, I do too. It's got really beautiful light. I could see why it would catch your eye because it's, I mean, it looks like it was un unlike the. Uh, <laughs> the the fire unlike the um, fire thingy it look, yeah it looks like it was just painted you know even the barbed wire has fresh paint on it yeah so that is it's like uh this could have been a contrasting elements uh photo challenge mm -hmm. one with brand new paint and one with original paint from 50 years ago yeah that's awesome very cool all right oh that's pretty This is Vince number three. This last photo of a California flannel bush was taken mm -hmm. from the bike trail along the American River between Folsom and Sacramento. These bushes grow wild in parts of California and make some awesome yellow blooms in spring. Taken with the Z6 and the 24-70 F2.8S. Very cool. Mm -hmm. They almost, I mean, they almost look like they're made of plastic. It's, they're so shiny. Yeah. Really pretty. Mm -hmm. A lot of nice colors. 
you know you got not just the, the yellow but these orange yeah. with a little bit of red to them and the greens yeah very cool z6 thanks vince walter. all right this is walter blacker is it bumblebee Seems like his were pretty early to come in, and now I can't find them. Right there, won't be. Thanks. All right, here are three photos for the Yellow Photo Challenge. These are old pictures I just re-edited. Number one is a live-action role-play LARP photo I took of the of Bumblebee. But that oh oh Bumblebee's on the right. I, I was looking to the left. Didn't even. It looks like Bumblebee is fighting. Uh, is this Bell? It looks like <laughs> Bell. Uh, at the 39th annual CoastCon Science Fiction Fantasy and Gaming Convention in Biloxi, CoastCon is in Miss Oh, is, that's probably Biloxi, Biloxi, Mississippi. He poked his head in to the LARP room while I was taking photos, so I asked if he would do some LARPing so I could get unique photos. Bumblebee got hot and worn out in the costume. I, I, I edited the JPEG. From a rented D750, mainly in Luminar 4. CoastCon um, is Mississippi's longest running and largest science fiction and fantasy gaming convention. Yes? Michael Karn says, hi, Rush Pan. <laughs> Hello. How are you? <clears throat> Let's see. Walter Blacker 2. That is cool. <laughs> this is so... <laughs> it's so Star Trek. I can't... I, uh, this is like I can't remember. Is she it's, Vulcan or Romulan? She's Vulcan. This is like uh, there was an episode, and I don't remember it exactly, but it's they had to take Spock to Vulcan because he was, oh, uh, he was, he was Spock. Yeah, it, it, he was about to. It was his time to mate or something. I can't, <laughs> I can't remember what it was called. Uh, we, you know, we'll have to watch the original series and and we'll catch that episode at some point. I took the. I took at the costume contest at the Gen Con gaming convention of a funny Star Trek musical cosplay skit at Gen Con's 50th anniversary in Indianapolis. They were all signing. I sat in the last row a long ways from the stage and zoomed in with my Fuji 50-230 lens on the X-T10. I edited the JPEG for this picture in Lightroom 4. Very cool. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna. we're going to find that episode when the okay. live stream's over. Okay. All right. Next from Walter, thank you, is Bumblebee. Bumblebee. I took, I, I took of Bumblebee at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis while I was in Indianapolis for Gen Con. I edited the raw file from my Fuji XT10 using Luminar 4 DXO Viewpoint 2 and Lightroom 4. Mm -hmm. Very cool. That's awesome. It's like at an airport or something. He said it was a children's um, hospital. Children's yeah. Museum. Huh. My bad. Well, I bet they love that. Very cool. And look at the little boy. Oh, wow. It's how, look how big it is. That's awesome because that kid is tiny. <laughs> that thing is huge. I'm glad you pointed that out. Very, very cool. All right. Let's see what's next. I think that's the last one. Whoa, that can't be the last one. But I guess so. W is pretty late in the alphabet. Where's my mouse? There it is. All right, let's do it again. Beautiful. 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 Awesome. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Heather. Ducky. Wait a minute. That's it's a not a ducky. <laughs> Mule. It's an elk. Goat. Elk. Elk. Yellow warbler. Pine warbler. Okay. Goslings. Beautiful. Beautiful. Cloudless sulfur. Cloudless. Cloudless sulfur cropped. Cloudless, Cloudless sulfur. sulfur joy. Cloudless sulfur joy too. Helios. Yeah. Helios, Helios sparkle. Helios, Helios flare. flare. Helios Mario Kart. Helios Swirly. Sunflower. Sunflower. Awesome Crazy spider. spider. Turtle spider. Japanese throwing star spider. Yeah. Swallowtail. Yeah. Swallowtail on a Xenia. 
Spinny, spinny. Badlands. Today. What's that bug called? Ambush. Ambush bug. See how the back of it looks like a flower? Yeah. Okay. Uh, balloons with the fire going. Another pretty sunflower. Mm hmm. Coffee and ice cream are good. Yes. We have to go to Atlanta just to eat at this place. Mm hmm. Waffle hose. Mm hmm. Desaturated from Soldano. Scary. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. 14 millimeters. I need one of those. Yeah, 10 yeah. trees. Yeah. Was that one 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah, 5, he said 6. 10 yeah, trees. 10 trees. Passion flower. That is crazy looking. I thought the thing awesome. was coming out of water. Very weather. Corvette. Cor Corvette. Aeroplane. Swallowtail. Rusty. Not so rusty. Mm. Yellow. Shiny. Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Star Trek. Yeah, mating ritual. <laughs> and, and more Bumblebee. Bumblebee. All right, let's let's delete those. Delete from disk. <clears throat> okay, so like we said uh, earlier in the stream, it's going to be four weeks all the way to, crap, I never can remember the date, the 29th, I think. No, no, no. Yeah, 29th, October. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jeez. so it'll be October 29th oh. before we do a photo challenge. So we're going to, we're going to do a double photo challenge. Uh, two photos in this photo challenge, and here they are. Uh, the first photo challenge is reflections, and you know that's just you know it can be a reflection off a building, reflection off glass, reflection off water, and the whole photo doesn't have to be a reflection, but it needs to have some reflection in it. And the next one is take a photograph of a total stranger. So this is basically street photography, or uh, you know just you know get a picture of a stranger. Bonus points if the stranger is looking at you. Uh, subtractions if you're looking at the back of their head um, no addition or subtraction for the side of their head but bonus points if the if the person if the stranger you're taking a picture of is looking at you that's bonus points and super bonus points if you get a picture of a stranger with a reflection in it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so you can send in uh, you know we don't care if it takes a long time we'll go through them all you can send in two or three reflection pictures and two or three stranger pictures uh, you know, basically it's street photography, but I want a person in it. I, w I was going to call the challenge street photography, but I want a person in it. Uh, now, if, if, you know, social distancing makes it where you can't do that, we, you know, you can, around here, you can, you have to mask up to go inside a building in Hamilton County where we live. Mm -hmm. But if you're walking around outside, you don't have to mask up. You're supposed to socially distance, but you can get a picture of a stranger in a public place. But if you can't, just go get a reflection picture or do both or just a reflection, whatever works best for you. Uh, we just want you to participate and we appreciate your participation. Did you have fun? Yeah. It's a pretty good one. How long are we? Oh, well, we, we didn't, I, I, we didn't go, no we didn't go we too didn't. long. I was worried we were going to run long tonight, but we did not. Uh, so, photo challenge, reflections. And two challenges and total stranger street photography. Send them to Phil Stream Picks. Try to rename them to your name at dot JPEG and or maybe your name two dot JPEG, your name three dot JPEG. I like to have a watermark on your picture, uh, but you don't have to. And uh PhilStreampics at gmail.com and we'll see you on the 29th at 6 and probably on uh, two weeks before that and two weeks after tonight probably we'll go live for a few minutes. That'll be the 15th. That'll be the day after your birthday. birthday. I'll be so old. And uh, yeah, we'll probably go live for a minute from Disney World just to say hi at the regular time. And, what park uh, are we going to be at that day? Do you know? I think it's Hollywood Studios. I thought it was so too. we might go live with the Millennium Falcon behind us. Yeah, Who knows? Cool. I might drink some blue milk with some rum in it mm -hmm. while we're while we're live. So don't forget that reflections and 
Total Stranger on the 29th. Mark your calendar. It's a long time from now. Hard, hard to remember. I'll, I'll try to put a reminder up at some point. Uh, Michael Carnes, 2-1-1-2 for you, Michael Carnes. And uh, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you in the next one.